Hello there, my saucy tartlets, and welcome to Marmalade Tart. I'm making a cheesecake. We're making a super summery, super fruity, Prosecco, rose, and strawberry cheesecake. It is the lang, the pang, the bang, the business, okay? I am not really a rose drinker. I usually poo poo it. I like my whites. I do like Prosecco. Sansa, Chablis. <laughs> the list does go on. But this suits this dish. It gives it some extra colour, a nice pinkness, and just another level of flavour that really elevates it from a normal strawberry cheesecake. Because I think cheesecakes can get a bit boring. Like sometimes you've had cheesecake, you know, you're like, yeah, cheesecake, cool, get it, got it, done it, yeah, t-shirt, all that, yeah, I've got the pants. So what you're gonna need is some Prosecco Rosé, which I'm probably gonna have a glass of, even though I just said I don't like it, but it's, it's, it's I don't need all of it for the thing. You're going to need ye old faithful, a digestive biscuit, butter, you can use salted or unsalted. The sun that's coming through, oh yeah, yeah. I'm looking at my playback, I don't like that light. Okay, God, I know I'm the chosen, I know I'm one, and he's changed his mind. Cool. Ah, thank you. Butter. It's important to have salt to bring out the sweetness, bring out the flavours and balance. Okay? A shit ton of Philadelphia cream cheese. And these two hencho wencho. I don't know how many uh, grams or pounds or whatever. I don't do maths. Two big packets or four small ones. That's how I roll, because if you start telling me um, amounts of things, that's maths, and I don't do maths. When, when you're cooking with me, you're not cooking by numbers, you're cooking by feeling and emotion, yeah? And love. All right. Strawberries, put strawberries on top in a sex of reduction, okay? Whipping cream. Let's start with the base. Think of the base. Usually everybody's favourite part of a, of a cheesecake, like, come on. And I don't know how smashing up a digestive biscuit, who's very ordinary on his own, smashing him up with a load of his friends, pouring a bit of melted butter on him, stuffing him down into a pan, makes him so very tasty. That's magic, that is. That's definitely not fucking maths. So. Looking for my food processor, there you fucking are. Take you and use you, cause you're a little star. This picture that I have, the hollow orgy with characters from Next Generation Star Trek. It's fucking awesome. Thank you, Ferdy Ahmed. Right, take your fucking thing. I'm gonna use all of these uh, biscuits. This is a large packet. For your viewing pleasure. I've got quite a large, I'm not going to tell you how wide it is because I don't fucking know it's going to need. You can tell, like, you can look at things and tell, you know, like instincts, common sense. Okay, so I'm popping the top on there and I'm popping it in here. At this point, I feel like it's a really important time to tell you. <laughs> Get that because it's so important. By now, you should have some really tasty sand. Hello. So, amazingly, I managed to not film a rather integral part of the video, so I'm adding it in now. I'm going to sort out the digestive biscuit. You need about a third of a pat of butter. I'm going to wet that in the microwave so it's liquid. Yes, sir. If you could just um, drop your trousers, turn around, and uh, Bend over, that would be fantastic. <laughs> Pour your butter into your digested biscuit. Just give that a good mix with your hand. What you need to do is grease your pan. I have one that has a bottom that comes away. Butter, and I'm going to grease the sides and the base. Take your wet sand and plonk it in and just pack it down. The tighter the better, I think. You can also get a glass, a flat 
bottom glass. Make sure it's only your glasses have flat bottomed because we don't like our girls that way. So it's nice and tight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this in the fridge. Still pretty new to all of this. Finding my feet, etc. So do forgive me for this grave mistake that I've made. And do stay tuned for my dad, Adrian Dunbar, taste testing cheesecake. To use some of the strawberries to decorate. So I'm gonna decide which strawberries I think are beautiful and which strawberries I think are sauce worthy. I mean, they're all saucy in their own right. Don't get me wrong, but some are more presentable than others. Like, even though this is a hefty strawberry, I don't like the shape of it. So it should be going into the sauce. So I'm going to do nice shaped straws over here, the hefty tonkers, the sauce ones over there. And you should wash your fucking strawberries too. Wash your fucking strawberries, mate. Wash your strawberries, but I shan't talk to ever again. Oh, I said wash your strawberries, and he said, mind what you say, my strawberries are my own, and I'll do them my way. Hey! Right, so these ones didn't make the cut. Sorry, guys, but you're just not attractive enough. Or you're a bit mouldy, etc. Sorry, guys, it's all game bit. Okay, so I've got the fucking strawberries. Cut up the strawberries that are going in the sauce. Sauce. Cut them up small because you want them to just reduce down into nothing. You ain't nothing to me but a cut up strawberry. Our uh, strawberries are bubbling away and reducing down. Very syrupy, luscious, viscous, not viscosity. Viscosity on the top and biscotity on the bottom. <laughs> Cremosity in the middle. Technical terms. I'm just going to add like two to three tablespoons of that to this mixture for color and just that hint of sweetness and just to remind you that it is a strawberry cheesecake. Mmm, delightful. So I'm now going to transfer our cream cheese mixture into her. And just use the spatula or the back of a spoon or something like that to evenly spread. I'm gonna cover that with some cling film and pop it in the fridge. Cream cheese mixture sets back to its solid, independent self. And then come back to this, drizzle it on, and decide how I'm going to place my strawberries, how to decorate it. So now my cheesecake has solidified the jam reduction or coulis placed on the top. So I'm just going to splatter this about and just gently move it around with my spoon. Just gently, because it's delicate, until it's pretty much covered the entirety of the cheesecake. I'm thinking maybe just place them whole. Put one in the middle, just slice them quite finely. Decorative thing, moving outwards from the central strawberry. So here we have it. I'm pretty fucking pleased with that. <laughs> here is the wow. rose wow. and strawberry cheesecake. I'm going to gently. <gasps> That looks beautiful. That looks very, very tasty. <laughs> I'm sure he's going to be super tasty. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. <so> <laughs> Woo, that looks beautiful. That Look looks delicious. 
Wow. Now it's time for number two. Mm. <laughs> but there's a cutting edge. Says these tiny there's forks. a cutting edge and an eating edge. Because there's a cutting edge and an eating edge, but um I know they look small, but they're fine. It means you have to have tiny, tiny bits. That's right. Can you cut, cut another piece, please? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Coming up. Same size? Yeah. Dad, be careful. Let me do it. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Just give me the cheese cake. <laughs> give me the cake. Here's your fork, Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. That's far better fork for me. Wait. Go on, get involved. Okay. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh, Reactions. That's beautiful. That's a really nice plate that of food. So I paid good money for that. <laughs> I really would. <laughs> Mom, what did you think? I think it's like angel food. It's like angel food. Well, and it's not too sweet and the consistency no. is so beautiful. Mm. And I'll start filming now because like uh, you old man's gonna get like one slice ahead of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a success, so try it out. Mm, that was absolutely beautiful. Mm. 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 Wash your fucking strawberries!